Hi, cre Hi creators. I'm Alma de la Molina Cox. I filmed the thing that I wanted to show you. I completely forgot the intro because I'm a noob here on YouTube. I'm really excited to share a little uh, digital illustration in Procreate. I'm going to put a little mixed media techniques in there and also use a photo. You can tell I've been in the creative zone because I can't seem to put words together. It's all going to be okay. Thanks. Before I sit down in my comfy chair to draw this cute dog named Maddox, this is my daughter's darling yellow lab, I'm going to just give you an overview of what I'm about to do. So I have, I have two photos in my Procreate app and I have a 10 by 10 inch canvas. And right now I'm just moving things around, kind of figuring out where I'd like these two elements to be. So I'm very inspired by this fire hydrant. So I've select, I have my selection tool in the upper left hand corner and I'm just drawing a selection all the way around to cut it out so I'm not distracted by the grass background. And later I will use the photo, the original photo and cut it out precisely. But for now, I just wanna get an idea, a sense of where I want to place my elements. So I'm gonna swipe three fingers and I'm going to hit cut and paste and that will move the fire hydrant to its own layer and then I can delete the background layer. And I'm really inspired by the cute flowers and paws on this fire hydrant so I'm actually going to paint flowers with acrylic gouache paints. So right now I'm just doing the same thing, a very loose selection cut out of Maddox like I did with the fire hydrant and this is so that I can really eye exactly the size that I want each of these elements to be and I'm just imagining where those flowers are going to be. I could draw them in, I could sketch them in, but I'm not going to. I, I feel like I have a sense as long as Maddox, he's the main event here on this composition, as long as he looks good to me and the fire hydrant is more or less you know the size that I want it to be in relation to Maddox, then I'm good to go. I'm going to go sit in my comfy chair, draw him, and talk you through it as I go along. But first, I'm going to get some tea. I've dropped the opacity of Maddox, and right now I'm using my studio pen to create shapes each on their own layer so let's say the the mouth the tongue the ears these are on their own layer and I have just a simple palette for Maddox of creamy yellow for his body and then some different values and values are just different shades so that we get a lot of contrast and even though Maddox doesn't have a big spot on his back I just like to create some interest with the darker shapes too so that we get a real sense of the nuance of his fur. Once I'm done with all of the shapes I can go ahead and delete the actual photo of Maddox right I can just turn off that layer and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out that fire hydrant precisely so I'm going to do it the same way I did it before I'm going to grab my selection tool and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the fire hydrant. I've also been playing a little bit with the color. I'm going back to my desk and I'm going to paint some flowers.
I've brought the flowers into Procreate and you can see that they are transparent. We can see through to Maddox. And so the next step is to separate these flowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and since they're all on one layer, I'm just going to use the selection tool and right now I'm just sizing them. I don't want to make them bigger than they actually are. You never want to increase the size of a, of a photo. So I have my selection tool now, the S tool, and I have freehand down below selected. And now I'm just going to cut and paste each flower away from this particular layer so that they are each on their own layer. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to duplicate each one of these flowers and I'm going to name them. And this way I keep my originals separate from the ones that I'm adjusting their size for placement purposes. And then once I have the idea of where I'm going to put all these flowers, then I will go ahead and reintroduce the originals and size them accordingly. So here you're just seeing me, you know, position them and figuring out the best composition for the piece. It takes, you know, quite a while. I am very indecisive, but I have a really good time doing this, just figuring it out, making sure that Maddox is the most prominent, um, and we will definitely make color adjustments so that way he stands out even more. So now I'm adding in some text and obviously the flowers still need some help as to where they're going to go. And I haven't actually uploaded any uh, really amazing text or excuse me, fonts yet, but I plan to. So I just love anything that, you know, has that typewriter feel. So this one will work just fine. I've started to add the pause and you can see here that I'm just fiddling and all I'm doing is duplicating each of these pause so that saves a little bit of time and I think an odd number always looks good so I'm going to position those and now I think the thing that's obviously needing help is the color adjustments and I'm going to go ahead and position the original flowers back into place and you can see that I have those ones beneath are were just the placeholders and I don't want to fiddle with the size of these originals anymore or at all. These are from the original photo. And so now, you know, the the hydrant, you know, is the thing that has the most variation in color. So I I definitely want to bring it into a little more of a muted tone and at first I was really drawn to that red and the redness of it, but now that I've been adjusting the colors a little bit more, I'm leaning towards blue and violets. And so now I'm just adjusting each flower accordingly. They are, they are informing also the colors from Maddox. So now I'm just dropping the colors from the hydrant and the flowers and I'm darkening the tones in some cases and lightning in some cases and giving Maddox a little bit of cohesive colors. And what's awesome about digital artwork is that, you know, I can paint flowers analog and just change, you know, their colors and I still retain all of the texture of the acrylic gouache, which is just really pretty. And the last touch that I want to do is just give this a little bit of a distressed look and so I have a couple textures on here and you can also see that the original colors just really they those were just placeholders so the, the art is speaking to me and now I'm just refining and I think I'm going to pop this into Photoshop and see if there isn't you know a little bit more I can do here I have my little sketching pencil just adding some very subtle details to pop some of the information that's already here. And now I've decided, okay, Maddox still needs his bandana. Completely forgot about that. So at this point, you know, these colors are just purely taken from, you know, the fire hydrant and the flowers and just giving it a little bit more personality. So back to Photoshop, and here I just want to add a warming filter. So I'm going through some yellows, 
and of course as it always happens I end up with my first one which was that orangey yellow which I just feel like it warms it up just a touch and just gives Maddox a little more depth and here I'm going to pop up the original one and you can see how much cooler it is next to the warmed up version. It's also altered the colors of the flowers and I'm really okay with that. I could have done just a selection and just influenced Maddox, but I'm okay with the gray tones of the flowers and this way he really stands out and he's the one that matters most. If you enjoyed watching me create artwork today, I would appreciate a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel for more art and tips. Thank you everyone.